Thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now. Okay, guys, we'll be wrapping up now. Thank you for attending. Our camera lens trained on one man. After four goals in his last match, what next? This is EA TV. Well, I must say, you always expect the passion to come through when you travel here to Swansea. We're at the Swansea.com stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Swansea City, and they take on Ipswich Town. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And 12, Jamie. Well, let's dissect the Swansea City lineup. Well, they're playing with a 5 2 3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. Ipswich Town starting 11. Well, they're going to play with the same formation out of possession, but I think we're going to see a lot of rotation from them when they do have the ball. And I expect their fullbacks to play a big part in this game. And so the battle commences. Ryan Giles. Brown. Nelson. Nelson. And Swansea come away with it. Patterson. Walsh Alan Brown with it always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game but you could make a strong case for this man I think Stuart what are you expecting to see from him well as you can see his form in front of goal has been superb he just has that knack of finding space in the box and then of course he's a brilliant finisher I'm sure he'll show us that again today And a throw-in it's going to be. Spence. Brown. Giles. Antoine Semenyo. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there.
So underway again here, 1-0 the score. And a goal update to fill you in on in the Blackpool game. Alex Scott has the information. It's a goal for Blackburn Rovers. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. It's now 1-0 with 12 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Fractionally offside. Ryan Giles Brown Nelson There's a slide rule pass and the danger cleared Walsh Jamie Patterson Moving into the advanced position possibilities inside the box this could square the game but the keeper has his say and how important could that be in the grand scheme of things well that was a big chance and really he should have taken that but let's give credit to the goalkeeper it's a decent save playing it in still not clear Jamie Patterson just the challenge that was required Semenyo oh nice ball over the top to chase could play it in and he's made headway well, with well, that wanting to put too fine a point on it, that goes down as a tame effort and easy for the keeper. Promising sequence. And up for grabs off the keeper and thumped away. Well, that save just about keeps them in this, but they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. And I'm hearing a change to the scoreline in the Forest match. Here's Alex Scott. Yep. A goal for Reading. It's now 1 0 with 29 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Jamie Patterson and threading it forward. Ryan Manning. Well, they get the ball once more. Nelson and he keeps going keeping possession of the ball with authority safe pair of hands did his job oh that pass easy on the eye Nelson a smart stop here and he's fired over the corner and still dangerous crucial intervention just then amid impending danger Patterson, Ben Cabango, Liam Walsh, an effective challenge, dangerous looking through ball, able to clear the danger at least for now.
Nelson, determined block. Ryan Manning. Walsh. Space afforded him. And teammates to play it to. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. And a very good challenge. And so it is, the first half story has been written. And so the match is underway. Antoine Semenyo. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, possibilities inside the box. This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the ground? Nelson. A smart stop here. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Chance to cross. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, there you have it. Just not enough going forward from them today. They've lacked tempo, they've lacked a sense of urgency, and above all, a bit of quality. It's been very disappointing. Well, they're in possession now. Let's find out what they can do with the ball. Very quick thinking there. No pressure whatsoever on the keeper. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully this move will see him play at his best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. Now, let's see what they can do here. But the danger averted for now. And a free kick awarded by the referee. And the substitution will occur now. Well, no card, but the referee making it clear next time there will be one shown. He'll take this on. And the goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. I certainly won't get tired of watching this because this is a brilliant piece of skill. He imparts so much spin on the ball as well as getting it up and over the wall. And the ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Nelson. Walsh Piroe Well the attack looks promising Patient build up at the moment Well that takes the wind out of their sails Great defending And into the last 30 minutes now bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next and he does produce the yellow card yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow it's a poor challenge you have to say
And Swansea with the ball again. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Yeah, you can see he's got a problem with his foot. Looks as though he's treading on it a little tenderly. I think he actually got trodden on in that last challenge. Cheers, Jeff. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now the championship is such a competitive division, and this is a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Swansea City taking on Stoke City. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Liam Walsh. Patterson. He has time to play it over. Excellent defending. Nelson. Spence. Nelson. He's lost it. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. Over Femi. And Cham. Well, it still could be dangerous. Danger averted for now. Well, I'm hearing someone has scored in the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott, fill us in. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. Nice build-up play, and when the space opened up, boy, did he take it well. They're back in this now with 77 minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. Can he do it? And there it is! Another goal! I have to say, that's a good finish. He knew exactly what he wanted to do there. He's just passed it into the corner. That's a nice goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Ten minutes to go, then. And the cross smuggled away. A good and fair challenge. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. And a goal to let you know about in the Cardiff City game. Here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Bournemouth. The goalkeeper has spilled it back into the danger area and he is there to slot the ball into the back of the net nicely. They're ahead by two now with 86 minutes on the clock. Alex keeping us right up to date. Oh, a fine block. Throw into Swansea City. City. Coming off the pitch. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Number four, Jake Fulton. Cham. Yeah. 
Oh, good save. Trying to pick out a teammate. Under pressure to get it away. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. He takes aim. Nicely saved. And he's fired over the corner. Well, not cleared away completely. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game. And once again, they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment. And the contest begins. Antoine Semenyo. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, possibilities inside the box. This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand... Nelson. A smart stop here. He'll take this on. And a goal! Almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. And into the last 30 minutes now. Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for your time.
sería el primer llanto que me probaría Que mandó las heridas y dándome la batería Solía ser entonces como un libro abierto Pero leí la letra pequeña de...
you. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hosts have been scoring freely all season, but they face the best defence in the league. Who will come out on top? We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome. We have to be honest, it's not a very pleasant night for football. The rain has been coming down heavily in advance of this game. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's Ipswich Town and they take on Sheffield United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Here's the Ipswich Town starting 11. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre-halves. So keep an eye out for that. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Well, in this shape, unless their wing backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. And they need to get tighter here. Now potential danger. Oh, but cutting it out in the nick of time. Spence. Semenyu. Nelson. In behind for him to chase. Nelson. Will it be? And the referee says corner kick. Playing it in, well, far from the ideal header, and the goalkeeper had it all the way. Osborne, well, I'm sure his heart is beating extra quickly because it's his debut game today. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, I'm expecting to show us his talent today because he has all the attributes needed to beat defenders. And most importantly, he usually has an end product to match. Let's hope I'm not disappointed. Koulibaly. Well, for Ipswich Town, you have to say it was a good performance and result in the last match against Swansea City. Oh, could be! There it is! And just the ideal start! Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Antoine Semenyo. Spence. Can they find a gap in the defence? Osborne. Oliver McBurney. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Promising attack, this. But the danger averted for now. Jed Spence. Nelson. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. And given away. Delivered into the box. But unable to make anything of the cross. Well, sloppy in possession. Nelson. Just wanted to get it out of there. Neil and on to Koulibaly well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory good movement and a chance to whip it in here will it happen this time in it goes that will greatly help the cause now they only need to keep concentration levels high Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Oliver McBurney. Jed Spence Spence Semenyo Antoine Semenyo That's well blocked Well these fans can sense an opportunity here They need to make the most of this corner And over comes the corner. And still dangerous. Real defensive resilience. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? And he's fired over the corner. And the problem not completely solved. Nelson. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Well, I think just lost his focus for a second. And a throw-in conceded. Well, half-time coming up, and this is not exactly what the home fans came to see. Stuart, your thoughts on what we've seen? Well, they can certainly play better than this. It's been a disappointing first-half display from them. But if they can just play with more urgency and energy in the second half, they can get back into this. They definitely have the quality. OK, I understand changing circumstances in the Blackburn game. Alex Scott, who has scored? It's a second goal for Huddersfield Town. They're ahead by... Oh, hang on! Big chance here. Pivotal moment defensively.
Koulibaly. Neil. And apologies to Alex for having to cut her off. To clarify, Huddersfield have found the net in that game. And their advantage at the moment stands at 2-0. Courtney House. Jed Spence. Options in the centre. Nelson. And offside by the merest of margins. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Brewster. And now with Koulibaly. Must score! A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job! Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Yeah, he's been well marshaled so far, but he hasn't worked the defenders or the goalkeeper hard enough. He's got to impose himself on this game, otherwise they're going to struggle to get back into this. And now they get the ball rolling. Will it be? And the referee says corner kick. There it is, and just the ideal start. And a chance to whip it in here. Will it happen this time? And it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Real defensive resilience. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Must score. A goal. Another one. It's turning into an absolute demo. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Tremendous ball played through. Well, nothing productive, really. Osborne. Just hearing the situation has changed in the Wickham game. Here with the news is Alex. Yep, it's a goal for Nottingham Forest. They've scored the opener with 49 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Nelson, it should be. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Corner coming up. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. So the corner played into the box. Struggling to get it away. That's well blocked. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Well, it still could be dangerous. Sorba Thomas. 
Can he put it away? Well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Yes, it's an exciting move for him, and hopefully we'll now see the best of him. But he'll need to settle in quickly to win over the fans. The move suits everybody, I think. Jack O'Connell... Now McBurney. And he read it well, intercepting it. 30 minutes left for play. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Osborne. And on to Koulibaly. Dangerous looking attack. Very quick thinking there. And the pass could do damage. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4 0. Evans. Jed Spence. Shatini. And they know they need to stop him, making sure it didn't get past him. Right, I'm just hearing a goal has gone in in the Wickham game. Alex Scott has the information for us. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. After a well-worked move, he got himself on the end of a cross with a beautiful header. They're ahead by two now with 69 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. This attack looks highly promising. A poor cross, all things considered. Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. It's Ipswich Town taking on Birmingham City. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Well, sloppy in possession. Can they take advantage? Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Osborne. Right, let's send it over to Alex Scott, because, Alex, there's been a goal in the Norwich game. It's a goal for Norwich City. The goalkeeper's made an initial great save, but there's nothing he could do after that. They're now behind by one with 76 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Bogle. And Ben Osborne has it. Koulibaly. Osborne. Using his physical strength to shield it. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Life is never dull in the championship. Live action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Sheffield United taking on Stoke City.
Oliver McBurney. Neil. Tremendous ball played through. And he's found a bit of daylight. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another. And it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Giles. Slater. It's with Lee Evans. Sergei Canos. And the cross didn't beat the first man. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Ahmed Hodzic. Bogle. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Are being pressed here. Brewster. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is. And this confrontation is underway. Will it be? And the referee says corner kick. There it is, and just the ideal start. And a chance to whip it in here. Will it happen this time? In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Real defensive resilience. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Must score! A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Nelson. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Corner coming up. Now, putting it wide from there, disappointing. Neil. Tremendous ball played through. And he's found a bit of daylight. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another. Time for a few questions.
Thanks, that'll be all for today.